Good morning, everyone, or afternoon at this point, I guess I should say, and welcome to Thursday. Um, we started the day off with breakfast stream. Unlike Tuesday, we did not take a nap. We had to have a nap on Tuesday because we were tired, but we got enough sleep last night that we could just start our day early, which is what we're trying to do, so that worked out well. So we've been up um, since this morning, and one of the tasks that we need to take care of today is raking the yard. Um, we have the yard services people. We have a service that comes in and mows the yard, which is good because my little Fisher Price thing doesn't do so well um, with the yard. Uh, but they sent an email out and they said they were going to resume services, you know, since they had to stop because of the hurricane, they had evacuated, then also everything is still wet. Um, but they said they're going to resume, but if we have any... Um, Trees or branches? Or yeah, anything big like that in the yard that, you know, they can't mow with that there. So I was like, alright, we have a rake, we can, we can do this, so I'm in the process of raking. I don't have to rake like all the leaves and stuff up, I just have to get rid of the big branches. So I've, I've started at the front of the yard, and I'm like coming back down this way, so I get a big like pile of stuff. I'm just basically flinging it across the yard. Now, if we can get it all the way back here, we'll just throw it down the embankment, which is basically where all that stuff winds up anyway. Normally, don't have to uh, deal with this sort of thing. Um, like, as far as tree branches and stuff, it's just the storm obviously knocked a bunch down, so. And Mal's also sweeping this up. It's really a foam rake. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, whatever. We only need one rake. Because the amount of times that we've had to do this is... One. I might actually. I might pick you. I'm not trying to. The other thing is that it's like noon. Yeah. And it's ice. Like it's not blazing hot. And it has been. So this is like pretty good weather for doing this. I got my toe. Ooh. That really hurt. <laughs> that is super cool. Isn't it cool? And also probably quite literally cool. It is very cold. It's probably very cold. I'm sorry. Um, there's a uh, a piece of um, ice that we had in the freezer from whenever we had evacuated. Um, because when we thought that when we thought we were going to stay here, you had put ice in the freezer. Yeah. So it would keep things so, cold. Yeah, it would essentially function like an ice box. Also, like it would be our backup backup water if we totally ran out. Yeah. So that was uh that was in there and we needed to finally um start getting rid of it. Start get rid of it, but you could like see through it so clearly. Yeah, it was, it was really cool that it was so yeah. clear in some spots. It's just really neat. Of course the only way I could capture it was to go like full manual. And that's inconvenient for vlogging, so now I'm going to switch back. There we go. Much better. Um, so obviously it's quite a bit later. Um, we did get the yard successfully raked. I don't know when they're coming to, to mow the lawn, but at some point. Um, we're still obviously dealing with, you know, putting the house back together. <laughs> and it's hard. It's really hard because, like, we basically, before we left, we took almost two entire days to tear things apart. And when we're, you know, now that we're back, we're trying to juggle doing actual work. So then we end up with situations like this, where like, these, these are just video games that are not back on the shelves. Like down there, like that's just consoles. I mean, also like, we had taken the box for this and put other stuff in it. Um, and then like the room is still on the kitchen table because Oh yeah, the room, good old Roomba. No, sorry, Roomba. Yeah, uh, so it's 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 gonna take a while, and also it's not pressing. That's the other, I think that's the other biggest problem. Is like it doesn't matter if the video games are on the shelf. It doesn't matter if the consoles are put away in the drawer. It doesn't matter if the Roomba is currently functional, because like none of these things are act. We're not using any of these things right this second. So the incentive to just deal with it is real low. So we've just not dealt with it. Have um, we talked about this too? How we've been drinking bottled water? Oh yeah, because we're not entirely sure if the water is 
contaminated. Well, the issue was that the water could have something wrong with it from the hurricane, but now we have flooding, so it's like yeah. there could still be an issue. So we have all this bottled water, which is super cheap, fortunately. Um, so we're drinking it, the cats are drinking it. Yeah. Yeah, but we only have to do that for like probably another week or so. Probably, but or you know, until we hear from the water company. That they haven't said one way or another. I know, so. I know, but it's it it's safer this way, um, and plus we have a ton of it. Because what <laughs> I don't know, we, we had water, we had bottled water, but then we bought more for the hurricane because we we're like, oh, we should probably pick up some water, and we brought it home and we opened up the pantry and we're like, oh, we already had water so then we just had a ton and I thought we were bad about it I went over to my parents house before the hurricane was here and um, they in their back room they had like I don't know six or seven cases of it so they were um, well stocked I guess you could say they ran into the same issue we did where they just absentmindedly bought water when they already had water when they already had water when they are, they had water. It's stacked pretty high for them. That's going to be it for today. I spent basically the entire day editing the aquarium vlog, which is out by now, obviously. So if you saw that and you enjoyed that, thanks. Um, I obviously don't talk about it much in that vlog because I had filmed it, but having edited it, that really is probably one of the, my most favorite vlogs I have ever shot. Um, I feel like I'm getting better at cinematography. I'm getting better at camera operation um, and that's pretty cool because that's uh, that's something that I have developed an interest in it was not something I was particularly interested in in college I was more interested in very strictly the editing side of things but uh, as I've gotten older and I've had to do I guess more with a camera every single day um, I've developed a bigger interest in that and whenever I can actually get the chance to you know, express myself in that way, especially in a vlog like with the aquarium, that means a lot. And um, there's also a ton of, like, work that goes into the editing side, just making, getting all the color stuff right. Um, that's another thing that really interests me, too. So hopefully, I mean, that's out by now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'll be releasing that tomorrow. Um, but uh, I really enjoyed it. So hopefully you will, too. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always... Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?